the idea behind the car show is twofold. One, they're trying to raise money for the agricultural show, which takes place in August. And they're trying to raise money, like I said as well, to try and um, heighten the awareness of the uh, Spanish Armada to Ireland. They're trying to build, um, raise money to build a museum um, and just to heighten the awareness. I think there's a documentary film due to be made or there's plans or there's a, there's a few floating around but they just haven't gotten the green light just as of yet. So I'm going to take a walk around, I'm going to try and talk to some of the drivers and um, we'll get a look at a few of the cars. This car behind me is quite a famous car. I'm trying to find the owner um, at the moment and hopefully we get a chance to have a chat with him. I've tracked down the owner of the car. This is Mark Rafferty. How are you, Mark? How's it going? Tell me a little bit about the car. Where did you get the car from? Well, actually, uh, we got the car and um, I found it in Kilcullen in, in outside uh, Kildare in a toy in 2004. How you mean you found it? It was just it was in behind the wall in the farmyards, and I traced down the, the the chap that had it in the yard eventually, and it was used. It was scrapped. It was used for uh, when it was bought. It was it was used for bringing sheep to the cattle mart from the Curra up the bottom glass in Wicklow, and that's how it ended up his life. But is this an ex? This is an ex. Oh, this yeah. This is an ex. Uh, this is an, uh, an eighty-two Far Granada Mark II. It was a commissioner Renz car. It was used up in '84. Wow. Yeah. And what sort of a history has it had? Well, it's had an interesting history. Um, it was used by the, the fraud squads. Uh, used by the secret service when Ronald Reagan was here. And um, it's it's had a, an interesting life. Right? <laughs> There's 385,000 miles on the car, so wow. just under. Uh, nearly half a million miles on the car. What did you pay for it, if you don't mind me asking? Or do you want to say? I gave 50 euro for the car. <laughs> I will say, you could write your name on the bonnet, it was bad. But to be wife's pleasant surprise, I actually brought two horses as well. And I brought them home and I scrapped the horses just for bits and pieces of them. So the wife wasn't impressed when I brought this home, comparing to. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting life I had, you know what I mean? So when I done the Father Ted reunion then in 2011, that was all filmed around Claire and uh, Frank Kelly, Arden Hanlon, Graham Lennon, Arthur Matthews. They all came back to do a final reunion. Yeah, yeah. And um, they couldn't get the original Father Ted car, it was scrapped down and skipper in. Right. They traced it, CI 35 to Cartina. But uh, they wanted the blue Ford and they got in contact with me and they said, would you hire the car out for us? And I said, no problem, I'll bring it down to if you're paying the hotel and, the, and so did you did you did you have to do a, did you have to put a lot of money into it uh, over the year well I have it 15 years now I'd say I've, I've probably spent about four thousand euro on the car so you so it's 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 made you a few quid now oh well I've done a few films in it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. was films. this used in one of the what, a music video uh, not that I no I didn't have this right. no that was a cartoon that they stickered up the, oh right okay, uh, okay that was one that was filmed down the Monster Evans yes yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes yes so that was an, an old Mark III cartoon oh, or something I wouldn't have yeah. having a clue but yeah. listen Mark thanks very much no problem best yeah, of luck with the rest of the, the show Cheers. and uh, very much. yeah deadly it's just coming up to 25 minutes after one o'clock I haven't left the first part of the car park yet and all these guys apparently are going on a run that I'm going to try and capture around what's called the Gleniff Horseshoe, which is a beautiful part of the country. Uh, but they're going at about 10 to 3, so I'm about an hour left before I gotta start getting to where I need to be if I want to capture all these cars coming past. But there are some amazing cars here with some amazing history. Gonna get try and get talking to a few more of the owners of the car and see if I can find out a little bit more. I'm joined now by a man called Dennis Ferry. Dennis. All right, please meet you. Tell me a little bit about this vehicle, first of all. Um, well, this was a 1978 FJ, which um, you get an FJ and a BJ. Um, FJ is for petrol, 
and BG's Diesel, it's just as FG. What year is it? 1978. 1978, Jesus, it looks amazing. Ah, there's a lot of work done to it now. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was originally sold in Indonesia, new, in the Isle of Bali. And that's where the vehicle came out of. Come around this way, show me. And is this one of the one of, one of the um, original designs from 78? Yes, an original colour, so quite a rare colour. I don't think it was available in Europe, um, but it uh, was available in Indonesia and most Asian countries. I'm leaving the first car park, going to move into the second car park to check out what's up there. A lot of muscle cars, I think, a lot of Mustangs, and there's uh, sort of like an army lorry I want to show you guys as well. This thing's class. Might clear up, might, and that's Glenif. That's the Glenif arch there in front of us. There's the old schoolhouse over there. Imagine people used to come here for to go to school. Now, where will I park? Up here is one of the highest caves in Ireland, if not the highest cave. And there's three people on the way down after visiting the cave. They're just here. Dangerous stuff, like oh my god! They're the the peeping of the horns. Now, so I said the cars are about to arrive. Uh, so I'm just going to get out of the way and let them get on with it. Been waiting here 20 minutes. I think this is the last of it. I'm going home or I'm, it's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> 